Rhiannon Dixon, congratulations, you have moved 4-0 in tonight's opener. A good learning fight as well for you. Just give us your immediate thoughts, uh, thoughts on the fight and your performance as well. Oh, um, well, I think, you know, I'm not really, I, I'm never really happy with my performance. So I've, I was like thinking in there, oh, I could do this, I could do this. And then I just think I've got to let the nerves get the best of me. So hopefully next time I'll be used to all the big lights and I won't be like, oh. So no, um, but I'm just excited to, you know, spend time with my family over Christmas because I've been in camp since... January, so I'm excited to enjoy Christmas and then hopefully get back out there again ASAP. Of course, it's only natural for you to be nervous boxing on this big stage in just your fourth professional fight. You, of course, boxed Masio Katie in your debut in 2019. Yeah. How did you compare her tonight? Was she an improved version of herself? Oh, yeah, to definitely. You know, she's a lot more negative and knows how to protect herself a lot better now. And I joked to her at the end, I was like, see you next year. You know, I was saying to my boyfriend last night, like, you know, it's what the fans wanted. It was up for dispute last time. Everyone wants to see Dixon Macy, okay? But now I'm just joking. But yeah, she's improved a lot. Um, she follows me on Instagram. I think I follow her back as well. So, you know, we're mates now. <laughs> and after the frustration in Liverpool, of course, we were all so disappointed for you with the fight, falling through in fight week. Was the advice from Anthony very much, look, let it go, move on, get back in the gym and just wait for this opportunity, which was promised by Eddie. Yeah, definitely. So at Liverpool, I messaged him, I was like, can I have a drink tonight? Because I think I'm only fighting in December. He was like, no, we could be fighting in two weeks. So Ant was out living his best life and Ross, my boyfriend, was living his best life and I was just there sober. But obviously I got, I remembered the night at Liverpool and it was an amazing night. So, you know, it was kind of like Liverpool part two at, at the beginning of this week because I don't think Paola got on the plane and then, you know, there was loads of different opponents up in the air, but I'm just, you know, grateful to get out there. And uh, it's not a bad substitute either to be here on the, at the Manchester Arena, yeah. an arena that's played host to so many great fighters and fights as well. Certainly not a bad substitute, like I say. Oh, yeah, definitely not. But I'm still living in Ant Shadow. Every time we come in, everyone's like, oh, and the best ring walk was you coming out to in my hometown and I'm there coming out to some gangster rap, like smack your B-I-T-C-H up. So, you know, can't really compare to him, can I? <laughs> and just talking about Anthony Crawler there, of course, we know him as the former world champion, a great man as well. But for yourself, how much are you enjoying working with him day in, day out? How much is he motivating you to improve? Oh, massive you know he's changed up my training completely you know we work so close with John and Tim my S&C coach and we just all gel we're a really good team we've got James Bobby Jake and his brother Will all at the gym so you know it's just a great environment to be around at Joe's as well Joe Gallagher with Tasha so I'm just around like world champions so you can only get better really. And just talking about that being around world champions we know you've banked so many great rounds sparring some brilliant elite level female fighters we know you have big dreams to be a world champion when you hold your own in that spars what does that do for your own self-belief, Rihanna? Oh, it gives me massive confidence. Like, I think Natasha's um, the pound for pound, uh, not pound, I think she's like the highest percentage KO girl um, in all the rankings. Or am I, I don't know, I think I saw something like that. And I was like, I took a punch off of her, off of Savannah Marshall. I think I've got a good chin. Um, but then the other day, Katie Taylor was like, oh, you're a southpaw, I'd love to get some rounds with you. And I was like, me? And she no, was watching you ringside tonight as well, Katie. Oh, she was doing that's pressure. She was like, she saw me in the hotel, she was like, oh, I can't wait to see you later. I was like, don't say that, I'll cry. <laughs> like, she came over and she was like, can we spar? And I was like, nearly crying. I was like, don't let her see me like this. Because <laughs> I walked in and I was like, oh, Katie Taylor's here. And I thought, oh no, she probably thinks I'm really weird staring at her like that. Uh, and I went over and I was like, I'm just really like you. I wasn't being weird. <laughs> It's only, it's only natural to be starstruck with Katie Taylor. Oh, yeah, we, we all yeah. get starstruck around Katie. I was worry. a bit like that with Ant, but I'm over it now. I don't really care about him. And uh, <laughs> just finally, then, after what's been a difficult year for you, of course, working on the COVID wards, we all owe you and your colleagues a massive deal of gratitude for, for what you've done throughout the pandemic. But do you feel now, you, this is your second fight this year, do you feel you're starting to build some momentum? Oh, yeah, definitely. We've got um, loads of them here, actually. Um, they were all messaging me before. My manager's here as well, Andy. Um, so they all love the boxing. And they all say, like, after work, loads of them do like MMA or boxing after it because it's massive stress release for them so yeah um, I'm just yeah dead grateful for um, my manager letting me um, I think someone's going back out um, <laughs> letting me work and train so I'm dead I'm just really lucky brilliant well Rhiannon Dixon enjoy the rest of tonight congratulations and have a lovely Christmas as well. oh thank you very much well done.